Monday. Hello. I am Lindley Richter. And I'm Elise Maxwell. And we are very excited because today is our first vlog with Ova Woman. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> what is Ova Woman? Ova Woman is a women's intimate health company, and we support women's intimate health through um, connecting women with innovative products and providing helpful information. Yep. And we have been around um, for a while now, and we have chatted with a lot of ladies, and we recognize that women really crave community and conversation. and so Especially around intimate health, because this area can feel very taboo and it can be intimidating. So And we want to talk about it. We want to tackle some taboos, and we thought that maybe starting a vlog would help ladies feel more comfortable sharing their issues, because it's yeah. going to... It's going to pull some stuff out of us, yeah, too. Yeah, we're definitely going out of our comfort zone to put this vlog together. Yeah, and so just a little segue into that is every Monday we're going to come to you with things that we have struggled with during the week, anything related to women's intimate health, things yeah. that um, we've gone through, and we also want to keep up to date with um, intimate health in the news. Yep, so we'll find a news article that we felt was very pertinent or motivating mm -hmm. for that week, and we'll discuss it. Along with that, we will invite guests on to talk about their intimate health questions or intimate health um, issues that they've overcome. Um, and then we will review some products, interesting products that help women with yeast infections, UTIs, menstrual cramps. Yep, all sorts of products. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that, let's get started. So Lindley. All right, my Ooh. intimate health for the week. Very exciting news. My yeast infection is gone. <laughs> I had a yeast infection all week last week. It was the second yeast infection I had ever had in my life. And I wanted to tackle it naturally, um, just my choice. Um, so I had just chatted with some friends and a co-op, and my friends suggested that I soak a tampon in tea tree oil or olive oil and stick it in my vagina for some relief. And then another um, one of my friends suggested uh, yeast away tablets. And so I didn't do either of those. I kind of wanted to start off small. And so I just mixed olive oil and tea tree oil in rubbed it all over um, where I just had burning sensations and pain and it did help. And with that, I just chugged a ton of water and stayed away from sugar. And so it probably lasted longer than it should have, but I feel a lot better and it's gone. Um, just, I wanna make a little suggestion that if you guys have treated your yeast infections with something other than um, medicine, medicine or, or anything. I we mean, want... even if you have used medicine and it worked really well yeah. and you don't have very many side effects, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you've used. That's basically what I'm saying. We want to hear from you. Yeah. So... And if you're a practitioner and you have some suggestions, tweet at us yep. at Ova Woman. Yep. Or send us messages on Facebook. Yep. Um, so for this week, I have been um, investigating different condom brands. So a while ago, I transitioned off of hormonal birth control. Mm -hmm. um, and not to say that hormonal birth control isn't awesome for some people. I just decided to get off of it. Everyone's and different. Everyone's different. We are totally down with whatever works for you. <laughs> but uh, so I have not been practicing what I preach. And my partner um, actually purchases condoms for us. And part of that is condoms have are marketed very much towards men like if you think about the the brands magnum or trojan mm -hmm. they're just very you can tell who they're marketing to right and to be honest i've had i'm not the one i'm i have never really been able to notice different condom brands right. like i'm just not very sensitive to that but there is a company this hey. um <laughs> that just recently came out with a new type of condom and it's called sustain so I am, I just got some of those in the mail and I will let you know how that condom brand works for me. Yeah, and we recognize that it's very intimidating as a woman, at least for us, to just walk in and choose from all these thousands of boxes. So it's exciting to have this company yep. that has a great mission and... Yeah, they um, donate um, some of their profit to women's health. I'm very on board with that. Yep. And it's started by a dad and a daughter team. Even and that's cooler. just cool yeah so so stay we'll tuned we'll report back on that <laughs> yep so, uh, so we're uh, related to women's intimate health in the news um there had, was an article in the new york times recently that we got really excited about ladies um gathering together to stand up for um transparency transparency in the ingredients used in tampons and uh, pads 
Yeah. And yeah. so what they did is these ladies um, protested, got a petition going because um, Kimberly Clark and Procter and Gamble they weren't listing the ingredients in their tampons and the other feminine hygiene products. And these ladies were like, "That's not okay. We want to know all of the pro- all of the ingredients, all of the ingredients, which can be really important, especially for people that do get." yeast infections or have sensitivity to fragrance yep. to know what the ingredients are yeah so this is was just an awesome story because it showed that when women really band together and say nope we're not gonna have this you have to tell us right things can change yeah and so if you're interested in the article it's on our, i posted it on our facebook and yep it's by yeah. rachel abrams from the new york times yeah Check it out. Yeah, so that actually rounds out this week's uh, Oval Woman blog. Yep. We are going to be um, inviting on a guest, a special guest next week. Get excited. Get excited. Um, and then we will also be talking about a couple products that women are trying right now. Yeah, uh, and one of them I am testing out this month. It is a compression belt for ladies' menstrual cramps. Yep. Um, I stay home twice a week usually the first two days of my period. So I'm really excited to see if this alleviates some of my pain due to cramps. Yeah, and we'll also be talking um, about a supplement that can prevent UTIs. It's pro. It's a proactive supplement um, that you take after intercourse. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. See you next week, guys. Yeah, see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>